We have a new curriculum from 2014 for ICT and computing. And part of that is uh, very focused on uh, children speaking to an audience. Speaking and listening is a huge part of the curriculum generally. And for us, it reinforces our ethos and supports children to be able to speak to an audience well, um, clearly, and projecting their voice. Children in this school in London, it's a very multicultural school, and we're able to travel the world, really. Uh, I think uh, last term, in four hours, we traveled 3,500 miles. Um, our children being able to converse with children in Devon, uh, in in Essex, in Thurrock, um, and in Staffordshire, and in other parts of the globe. So for us, that's opened doors um, that financially we wouldn't be able to do unless we used um, video conferencing as the methodology. Well, the equipment that we use is uh, it's cheaper. Um, it's only the cost of three iPads. So um, that's option. That, that's a really good option for us. But secondly, the high quality. Um, that it provides to the school. It's very accessible for the children um, and it has very, very high quality optics as well as uh, a, a high quality uh, sound. So, and easy to use, so it's a winner all round. What I like best about video conferencing is because we, um, we can share our tradition and our culture and it's very exciting. I like the video conference conferencing because I like to show my talent and speak loud and clear. Yes, I think this is a good way for other children to learn because they can know about our culture and that will make us better people. Lots of children who learn English as an additional language, so building in opportunities for speaking and listening is vital for us to get them to develop the language so they can develop the thinking skills as well. And video conferencing provides us with the talk as process opportunities as well as the formal talk, which pl places a greater demand on the learner. So that's been really, really useful for us. Um, coupled with that is the drive that we've got to develop our teaching and learning as professionals ourselves. It's placed greater demand on us to think about providing content to other schools and therefore developing our teaching and learning skills ourselves. We definitely want to continue um, linking with other schools across UK and across the world, hopefully. Um, that face-to-face -face contact just brings some magic into the teaching and learning process. And we want to continue to provide content to schools. We are very fortunate that we've got lots of children from different parts of the world and being able to share that cultural diversity and learn from each other brings up wonderful citizens, I think. We've been using it to connect to the Undergrad for Learning's network, connecting to Janet UK for secure video conferencing. We've um, got a national content provider in one of our primary schools and um, ideally we want it really to, to really push this product as far as we can. It's going really well. We're trying to expand the use um, of the video conferencing system that we have. We want to um, offer new opportunities for existing schools and new schools. We want to find more content providers and get more schools involved. Um, expansion is, is what I really want to do with this project.